Hey, it's Chunkman from VintageRock.com. I'm at uh, NAMM 2012 at the Dean Markley booth and uh, found an old friend here. It's uh, it's Tim Ripper Owens, yeah. uh, vocalist extraordinaire. <laughs> hey, it's nice to be here. You know, I was just walking by, I saw Lita signing. I thought I'd stop and and yell at everybody. It's like Rockstar Central around this here, you know? It's amazing, right? I'm, I'm still a kid in a candy store walking around here, you know? I mean, even though I end up signing my, you know, in a booth somewhere, I'd walk by and see all the artists and the, the, the people here, and it's great. Man, crazy. it's crazy, but great. That's what NAMM's all about. And it's Saturday, usually the busiest day at NAMM at all. That's when all the freaks come out to play, you know? And all the people that follow them come to follow them. Hence, why the both of us are here, right? Yes, you're right. Dude, you are a busy guy, man. You got a lot going on. You got the Dio Disciples that you're out on the road with. You got Ingve Malmsteen that he's out on the road with singing. You got a bar to run, man. How do you find all this time to do all this stuff? Well, the restaurant's the easy one because I have a, a partner that I'm with there, and he. Uh, tell me about the, the the restaurant. Tell tell the tell the well, listeners no, what it's all about. Ripper Owens Tap House. It's in Akron, Akron, Ohio. It's half sports bar, half music. We got Glenn and KK's guitar from Judas Priest. We got a dime bag guitar up. We got Chris. K we got drum set hanging you know it's a really great place a fun place uh we have a lot of artists come there on the weekends and play we have uh we have uh kip winger come to do an acoustic show john karabi we've had lynch mob play there uh we so have plenty of places to drink beer and watch live performances it is you know and it's a real small place you know sebastian box playing in cleveland so he's going to come in on super bowl sunday and and do a meet and greet and watch the super bowl there and hang out so you know, it's a fun, special place for artists to come in. L.A. Guns has played there. It's a, it's a great place, you know. But, uh, you know, it's, it's fun. I, my motto there, the reason why I bought the place with my, my partner was I went there before, he, and he owned it, and he treated me like a rock star. And I said, you know what, let's treat everybody like a rock star. Let's change this place around. And, and, uh, but it's my hometown. I grew up there. So I have people coming in saying they knew me in kindergarten. So it's, it's pretty good. For those of you guys that might not know, Tim is, Tim is a very famous guy for kind of the way that, that things got really started for you. He was, in a, he was in a Judas Priest tribute band back in the day. And uh, when Rob Halford decided to leave Judas Priest, they were looking and they somebody saw a video of you singing with your tribute band. And he got hired by Judas Priest, which is kind of like the story about how the movie Rockstar with Mark Wahlberg uh, was all about. So, and dude... It was all pretty much kind of based on your story. It was. The movie was loosely based. Originally, it was going to be called Metal Gods, and they were they were going to make it real. But they decided to go in different directions, and Judas Priest kind of decided to pull away from it. And uh, But it is. It's, you know, that's what happened. And, and I, you know, I'm great friends with those guys still. And I, I, I sang about eight years in the band and, you know, two studio records, two live records, DVD. And, uh, you know. The other, the funniest thing is that people say to me, man, you must have did a lot of touring. And I said, you know, I tour, I've been more places now than I even was in Judas Priest. I mean, within this next month, I'm, two months, I'm going to be in Russia, South America, and Beirut. So it's kind of like crazy that how things work. But thanks to Priest and, and good times, you know. Now, the, the touring that you're doing currently, is that going to be with Dio Disciples or with uh, with uh, Yngwie Malmsteen? i got two shows in Russia with Yngwie. Then I have a band called Hail that is like an all-star band. It started with David Ellison, myself, and Andres Kisser. And uh, this one from Sepultura, this one's going to be Andreas from Sepultura, uh, James Lomenzo, and, and Paul Bostaff on drums. So we, we're going to South America, and, you know, we just jam out anywhere from Judas Priest, Sepultura, to Motorhead. To, you know, we just have a good time. We get on stage. And, so I'm doing that, and then I got a bunch of solo touring coming up, and also hopefully Dio Disciples is trying to book another American leg. So. How did you get involved with that whole situation? To the Dio Disciples, obviously, it's, it's a late, great Ronnie James Dio's band. And uh, they're going to have pretty big shoes to fill on vocals, man. They came and found you. How did that all happen? Well, the good thing is I'm not filling his shoes. I, I'm just celebrating his music. It's well, a little, that's, but it's a little, it's a little different. I, I feel a little less pressure. I feel pressure to sound good, but it's you know, you're just celebrating him, you know. And, uh, uh, you know, Wendy Dio's been my manager since 2005 or somewhere in there and uh, I was friends with Ronnie he liked my voice a lot uh, you know and I think it was you know she she was I was the first person she asked to do it and it was a no-brainer that's an honor right there man well you know these this is a thing that no one said what are we getting paid uh, what are we doing you know, our thing was yes I'm singing with Ronnie's band yep. celebrating his music you know and it's uh, that's that's you know it's emotional every night so I'm, I'm honored to do it and I will take anything off my schedule to do it. You know, it's a, it's a good time. And that's going to be hitting the road sometime this year. Yeah, we're, we're going to try to get back in. Uh, we have a couple shows booked in a few places out of the out of the country, but we're going to try to get a tour together, 
and uh, another because we didn't hit LA or you know we didn't really hit the West Coast at all in this tour so uh, last tour so we're gonna try to get another tour together we well, had a couple of the guys up there last night at the all-star jam here at Nam uh, which was out in the uh, in the uh, lobby area and they had a bunch of the guys up there Rudy Sarzo and all those guys too well, you didn't ask me to come was that uh, I was looking for you bro but you know anyway we gotta have to run it's junk man it's uh, vintage rock.com got the great uh, Tim Ripper Owens thank thanks you. a lot for talking Good with us bro you again man thank right. you enjoy the, much. enjoy the rest of Nam. I will you too Party on.